Well, as I said, I get about 60 or 70 submissions a week by email over the website. I generally read maybe one poem. Uh, if I get interested, I'll read more, but you know, there's only so much time. And uh, so I will read the cover letter. Uh, and I'm a stickler for grammar. If I run across two or three grammatical errors in the cover letter, I don't get any further than that. <laughs> and, you know, there are places to be experimental. The cover letter is not one. <laughs> and uh, but I, I do read. I, I very seldom do I actually publish someone that came totally as a submission. But I, it has happened. Uh, I like discovering new voices. And uh, for example, this year when we had our chapbook contest, I ran across uh, a manuscript from a 17-year-old high school student. I said, you know, this is really, really good for this age. And so we did a chapbook of some of her poems and some of her photographs. Annie Parker is her name. The chapbook contest allows me to read you know, a hundred or more manuscripts from poets that are aspiring from every range. Uh, we had chairman of uh, creative writing <laughs> programs as well as people who've never published anything in the, in the manuscript batch. But in general, I publish uh, quite often poets I've already published because I'm committed to them. You know, you create careers and you sustain careers uh, both as poets and as academics uh, by who you select to publish. And um, so I have a, a range. And I've always discovered new voices and I've tried to keep up with those, those poets.